Hey everybody, welcome back to the homestead. Technically the lower portion of our homestead. Our, por our property is divided into three sections the way that we divide it up. Uh, there's an upper section, which is where the house is, a middle section, which is in between a road and a irrigation ditch, and the lower section, which is here. Let me show you around and show you some of the things that we're planning on doing down here. And we're pretty excited. Uh, let's get started. So to start somewhere, this is the um, irrigation ditch that came with the property. Well, I guess it's not really going anywhere. So yeah, this, this was here when we purchased the property. The local uh, irrigation district cut all these ditches many, many years ago um, during the mining times. Give water to different mining claims all throughout. This is a big mining area where we live. And uh, yeah, so <clears throat> the cool thing about this ditch uh, is it allows me to irrigate the lower property. Also, if I had power, we could pump power up that, pump water up that way, but that'll be in the future. Uh, there is a box you have to pay for service. So yeah, the ditch runs through your property, but you have to pay to use the water. I guess it is what it is. So yeah, we had a box installed and you can tap off that box and then irrigate your, um, your field or, or, you know, give water to your animals and stuff like that. But yeah, this is one of the great things about this property is the ditch running right through it. And this here would be the pond. Um, the kind of a bummer part about this is I actually only own just a little bit of the tip of the water here. Uh, the rest of that's the neighbor's property, but it is a good habitat, you know, for different animals and fish, there's fish in there. The neighbor does, you know, let us do whatever we want. Um, I do own a small section back this way uh, of water, actually a somewhat big section of water that, you know, you could go in and do whatever you need to do. It does need a little bit of help. Um, the cattails are getting a little crazy and because of that there's not much airflow getting in there and there's algae starting to grow so that's kind of a plan is to uh, kind of revitalize this area and clean it up a little bit but yeah that's the pond One of the other cool things about this section of the property, it's not necessarily completely ready yet, but there is power uh, lines nearby. And there also is a road, a, our main road that we use to get in and out, which has access into here. Because I wanna get power down here, I'm gonna have to um, pay to have a transformer put on a pole and then purchase a pole and put that up. But now I can make videos for all these different things and hopefully help you if you need that type of situation. Try and find some shade here. That is our lower section. And so we have access, hopefully power at some point, water, and uh, very nice habitat for, for different animals here and lots of sun. So what our plan, one of my main goals with homesteading is to actually live off the land, to not have to go to work, you know, and, and be away from the family and in construction, you know, cause I'm always, I, when I go to work, I'm usually far away, you know, down south or, uh, you know, a couple hours away. So I come home and there's not that much time to spend with family. So my goal is to make my land work for me or I work for the land. But um, yeah, so the main goal is to turn this, it's about, a little over an acre, probably uh, 1.2, 1.3 acres. And I want to turn this into a very uh, large market garden. It will be a lot of work, and I am somewhat nervous about it. Uh, hopefully I'm not doing something too crazy, but I just feel pulled in this direction, I guess. Um, I've been watching a lot of your, you know, your Curtis Stones or... Uh, reading the uh, Market Gardener by J.M. Fortner. I probably botched that. And just kind of definitely immersing myself into that Market Garden type thing. 
And so yeah, so the things that we're gonna do and hopefully make videos on all these different things. Uh, first of all, I need to fence this entire area. We have a very uh, heavy deer pressure around here. Uh, there's actually deers that live in that stand of brush there. Uh, and you see them out here all the time. <clears throat> uh, second, we'll have to do infrastructure. So water, which I'll probably end up doing a tank off of the ditch, filling up a tank and then having a pump to pump water at pressure out here to irrigate. So that'll be a video. Uh, fencing, this will be a video. Uh, building the garden itself, you know, the beds and the, the topography of the land and which I, I need, I need some sort of guidance or help on that just because I don't want to mess it up and do it wrong. You know, I, I, some people say go with the contour, others say off contour, which I'll probably end up doing off contour, meaning, cause this is sloped, meaning just kind of offsetting it. So it's not st pointing straight downhill, but maybe turning it so it slows the water down but also absorbs it in there's just so much and then you know trying to to do organic you know if you start organic then you're okay but yeah if you start using chemicals then you have to wait three years but we would be starting organic uh oh building a um post-harvest area greenhouses yeah, there's just uh, so much to do. Plus, you know, take care of other things up top at the homestead. So if I'm not going full throttle into this right away, there'll definitely be sprinkles of this in, in my content. And uh, yeah, so that's what, uh, that's what Joe Simple's up to. Hope you can stick around and, and watch it happen. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one.